Let's start. Let's begin. Hi everyone, Bethany Gintano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it is time for a review of the new Perfume Genius album, Set My Heart on Fire Immediately. This is a brand new full-length album from singer-songwriter Mike Hadrius, aka Perfume Genius, who is kicking off this new decade with his fifth LP here. I have been looking forward to doing this review all week because when I think back through the 2010s, few songwriters came across as so consistently captivating as Mike. The sonic and musical transitions he underwent during this time were pretty radical as well, going from the lo-fi, tiny, dreary piano songs of learning to No Shape in 2017, one of the most immaculately produced and lavish records of the 2010s. Personally, I think it's a pretty big project to follow up, but from the sound of Set My Heart on Fire immediately, Mike doesn't seem to be sweating the task. It seems like he's focusing on a lot of the key strengths from that very album and continuing to hone them and just dig gold out of them. Just like on No Shape, there is a wide breadth of musical styles and fusions embraced on this record, showcasing everything from showy chamber pop to romantic theatrical Eurofolk with a huge dose of woodwinds. Some of the stylistic transitions along this track list are so breakneck and even occur within the songs themselves. The track described features these slow, grungy, heavy walls of guitar laced with some twangy, folk and country strings, and just past the midpoint the song suddenly morphs into two full minutes of heavenly new age ambience, which is a pretty daring move for the second track on your record. But as hard to predict as the track list on this record is, Mike approaches every sound with quite a bit of style and grace. Though there is the track leave that reminds me a lot of the song Choir from No Shape, where Mike's muttered and somewhat hushed vocals ring like that of uh, something on a Shoo Shoo song. I suppose it is cool that this is a connection and an influence that Mike would like to keep maintaining in his music, and I do like the whimsical grouping of woodwinds and harp and strings. The track also has a great subtly menacing quality to it, but it still remains that I don't care for the stillness of the instrumental all that much, and it is one of the weaker songs here. Still, once again, we do have Blake Mills on production on this record too, who totally killed it on No Shape, kills it here as well. Every mix on this thing is so well balanced and creatively textured. I would even say in a way, there is more aesthetic ground covered on Set My Heart on Fire immediately than there was on No Shape. Because once again, you do get those pristine, beautiful, immense, and larger than life moments on the record, like the intro track, or even the very quiet Jason, uh, the Baroque pop flavor on that song, I think is just so uh, wonderfully clean, and just, it's, it's like watching a diamond with light shining through it. Light, just pure light washing over me, the beauty of the sound of this track. But then you also have Some Dream on here, whose hits of drums and cymbals and deep fried vocals are also blown out. The growling guitar distortion that's so persistent on this track too, it sounds like a neutral Milk Hotel song. So again, there's a lot of ground covered on this record, sonically, texturally, stylistically, but Mike's very heart-wrenching songwriting style, along with his shivering vibrato and, and very expressive nasal vocal tone, those are enough. Those are bold and ear-grabbing enough to tie all of these songs together and make for a relatively cohesive listen. And speaking of songwriting style, it would seem on at least some of these tracks, Mike is going back a little bit to the simplicity and the basics of records like Put Your Back Into It, maybe not stripping his song Songs down to the briefest of run times, but still. The very bare closer borrowed light reminds me of some old perfume genius stuff, as well as one more try in whole life, both of which have a bit of a 50s flair to them. There are some standout moments in the track list that come off quite hooky or punchy. The song Nothing at All, which I read as like an ode to anti-climax, or just being someone who isn't unreasonably expecting too much of people or circumstances and learning to accept things as they are, in a way. And the song has this swagger heavy hook that reads like some old school Springsteen. I got what you want, babe. I got what you need, son. Nothing. 
nothing at all. Meanwhile, the track Without You is a very refined and idyllic moment on the record that is surprisingly feel good for a perfume genius song, sonically anyway. The distant strings, the dreamy leads, the gently strummed acoustic guitars, the really lustrous and beautiful instrumental flourishes once the two word hook pops in. We also have On the Floor, which is a pretty obvious callback to 80s synth pop anthems, but the way it's produced, it does not have a lick of nostalgia to it, and I kind of love that. It's somewhat vintage, but yet aesthetically it sounds like any other Perfume Genius song from this era. It's funny in that way. But the one thing that stood out to me about this track the most were the lyrics. The way Mike seems to be writing about a crush on this track, and it's not coming off just like a crush, but more like an obsession or uh, an illness or an ailment. Asking in the hook, how long till this washes away? How long till my body is safe? Crossing the name out on the page! It's, it's dramatic. So those are some of the catchier and more direct tracks on here. Not to skimp over the slow burners because they can be pretty fire as well. The song Moonbend I alluded to earlier as having that romantic folky instrumentation. That is one of the most patient and theatrical songs I think Mike has pulled together so far. A really operatic quality to the drama in the vocals too. Love the sparse splashes of chords on this track. How whispery and restrained Mike's voice is. It's like his, his singing he just weeps like a raspy violin. Then the beds of folk instrumentation that come in on the second half, which I, again I think are pretty Eurocentric, are breathtakingly gorgeous. The track Just a Touch was a bit of a highlight for me as far as low-key songs on here go, if not only for just the development of the vocals and some of the crescendos in the second half that run to me like uh, something out of a Radiohead song. Beyond this though, I'm not sure what to say outside of that I loved the vast majority of songs on this album. I think in a way Mike has knocked it out of the park again. Though I did not find this project to be as much of a stunner as No Shape was. While I appreciate the adventure these songs presented, I think having every track so vastly different in style and tone from one another made for a pretty disjointed listen, and certainly there are cuts on here that I enjoyed the song at the core of them, but I think they could have been rearranged instrumentally to be a bit more climactic, like One More Try, just to add a just a touch more of drama. I'm also not really crazy about the persistently stern groove on Your Body Changes Everything. It does give the song a good kickoff, but as it just fails to alter or shift or evolve as the song progresses, especially on the hook, that lack of contrast leaves the track feeling flat. That being said though, I didn't really hate any of these songs, and this is really just a matter of several tracks paling in comparison to the rest of the LP. I still loved the album on the whole, and it will still most likely go down as one of my favorite art pop records of the year. Feeling a light eight on this one, Tran. Zition, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another song that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Perfume Genius, forever.